Hey guys, welcome back to another Slide 2 glitch tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty weird glitch that involves a camera lock, an invisible collapsing bridge, and permadeath. So, to do this, you're going to want to be on Bomb the Bridge mission, which is the operation for episode 2. And you also need to have Hover Pack. Now that is actually more difficult than it sounds because, well, you're going to need... Uh, cheat codes to warp to episode 8, go back, or buy stuff, go back, play all the missions, yeah, it's kind of complicated. I will actually be making a uh, video on how to get late game gadgets on any mission, and I'll have that uh, video in the description once I, you know, make it, but as the time of uh, publishing this video, I, I haven't made that video yet. So I'll just, so uh, go to that video if you you don't know how to get hover pack and you want to try this out. So, let's start the mission. Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving in. Gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. So, just play the mission as normal until. Well, I'll show you guys when to reload. Better watch out for well, actually, it's not. I'll show you guys when to do something different. Just two more cleats down here. That's it for the lower section. Now for the main support beam. Fun fact, I actually didn't know this until uh, discovering first discovering this glitch. You actually only need one bomb for Just the uh, pillars left. at the end. I would always place two there. One more clean and this bridge is going down. Alright, so okay. keep that cutscene in mind. Because next time we see that, it's gonna be totally different. Destroyed. Take all the manpower you need. Just waiting for the perfect moment. Okay, so finally, once you get to the point where you can reload the game, or pause the game, right here, you want to enter the code to warp to episode 2. Not the reload code. Reload code is just going to restart the dance. So the warped episode two cheat code is uh, right left R one left down. Actually, that was wrong. It's R one left right R one left down. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'll have it in the description as well, so you guys can check back there. Okay, so now we should have teleported back to this uh, to the safe house, and you want to choose Bentley. Okay, so right after exiting the safe house, you can already notice that, yeah, there's no bridge there. So that's actually where where we are headed. So you may be wondering, how are you supposed to get across the bridge? Well, that is why I mentioned that we need hover pack earlier. So up until this point, you don't really need hover pack, but if you ever want to even have a chance of getting across the bridge, you're going to need hover pack. In fact, it's almost impossible to do without hover pack. Or w even with hover pack, it's almost impossible to do. It's like so close. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it's that close. Okay, so if you just walk up here, something interesting. Yep, that's what I meant by invisible collapsing bridge. And once you get to this point, you might think, wait a minute, this is just a soft lock. Why, why are you making an entire video about a soft lock? Well, just wait for it. There we go. Actually, when I first did this glitch, I did think it was a soft lock, and I actually turned off my entire system. And then the second time I came across it, I think I left the room or something out of frustration, and then I came back, and I was able to walk around, so... I kind of discovered this on accident. But yeah, the camera is completely frozen, can't do anything about it. No changing cameras, nothing will trigger, you can't trigger anything that will fix it. Just It's just permanently locked like this, so you can't
can move wherever you want around the map. It's kind of hard to see it. Right now we're going to be up by a guard. The very end. And also, if you uh, walk toward the bridge, let me try to find myself under the wall. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can. Okay, there I am. So if you walk up toward the front of the bridge, you'll start to notice that uh, the like crumbling sounds start to play. It's pretty interesting. Okay, so also Rubenaki. Oh yeah, and that you can also activate as much as many times as you want. But for some reason, the second time he'll jump, <laughs> like like you just saw, he'll jump for some reason. Good luck. So if I count right, I think it's around 10 seconds. Soft lock is well, it's not really a soft lock if it unsoft locks, but the uh, permanent or the temporary freeze is around 10 seconds long. But anyway, so you can fire your uh, sleep darts. Oh come on, I did not mean to do this. <laughs> So, like I was saying, it's kind of frustrating. Okay, now I know next time not to jump on that, on that general area. I'm gonna run down the bridge. Or run down that uh, cliff side. Okay. So I'll make that same mistake we made last time. And, okay, we just got caught by guards. So it's not much better. Oops. And we fell off. Okay, so anyways. You can shoot, and no matter where you're standing, it'll always head for the center of the map. It may not hit the center of the map, but it will always try to aim for it. Like you just saw. So, that's from the right side. It'll always go for the same area. Because... Well, you know, that's where it's aimed in the walking You can see it's just aimed for the center there. No matter where we're standing. Okay, now I don't even know where I am. Oh, wait, I think I see myself. There I am. Oh my gosh, guards are so cool. Especially if you can't even see where you are. Okay, can we get Death perception is harder too. It's harder than me. Okay, I'm having a very hard time doing that. Oh my gosh, this is the most frustrating thing I think I've ever had to do in slime. Finally! Okay, so we're up here. This is a good point. So, yep, we'll always shoot toward the center. And also, uh, Sly Cooper reload coded. Uh, pointing this out to me a while ago. The bottom of the Nokia, you can see there's text there, and that'll usually describe what you're doing in a mission. Um, well, actually, this is unused text. You never normally come across this in the game, because, well, obviously you don't have your Nokia open during the dance. So, I don't even know why they bothered to add any text in, but, hey, it's there. It's pretty cool. Wow, we are so close to dying. That's good. Yep. Permadeath. So, luckily you can pause the game here. If you couldn't pause the game, that'd be pretty frustrating. Because you'd have to turn off the system. So, we can abandon job. And also, you can reload, uh, reload the game and try it again. If you really want to. But, I mean, I pretty much showed everything there was to show there. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to mention this. Don't try it with Slayer Murray. I mean, you can, but it won't do anything. It will do the cutscene, everything will be fine, but, uh, well, actually, you can't even reach there with Murray. So, never mind, don't even try it with Murray. But if you do the Sly and you Feral Pounce over there, uh, the cutscene will start, everything normal, and it won't unlock. Like, uh, Bentley's after 10 seconds, you'd be able to do whatever. Yeah, th that doesn't happen with Sly, so I wouldn't recommend trying it out. So by now, some of you guys may be wondering, uh, where's the explanation for the previous video's glitch that you were promising for this video? 
Well, as unfortunate as it is, there won't be an explanation in this video. Because, well, simply, I just can't seem to replicate what I did exactly in that video. I've gone through it over and over and over again. I've just put in hours and hours into trying to uh, replicate that. I can't seem to do it. There's something I'm missing. I'm doing like the same basic process that I remember doing. And I'm just miss I'm missing one thing, I I'm sure, that is preventing me from replicating it. So what I'll be doing, well that's actually why uh, this video took so long to come out with. Uh, it's because I've been trying for so long to replicate that. But anyway, so what I will be doing is a stream sometime, maybe next week or so. Um, and I'll be trying to replicate that with all of you guys and maybe we can help each other out and hopefully get to the bottom of that and replicate it again so that I can make a video on it of uh, explaining it. So after this video, I'm going to try my best to upload more frequently. I know I, like last month, I think I only uploaded one video. There's just been long gaps in between videos and I'm going to try to get rid of that, hopefully most of it. Um, so I'm gonna try to upload more frequently probably maybe once a week or every two weeks. That's what I'm aiming for So hopefully I can do that and there will be more videos on the channel free more frequently and everything So with all that being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this glitch There will be more coming soon, and I'll see you guys in the next glitch video. Bye